Hello everybody, this is Elisha Keating from WisdomSeekers.net Emphasis on the .net and uh, please feel free to go have a look at our .net it moves a little easier than it did before it's a little, little more interesting uh, This is my logo Phoenix Rampant, Phoenix Rising and uh, if we don't have the phoenix, it's not us. Pretty well everywhere we go, we, the phoenix is there. So feel free to um, to have a look and uh, and enjoy. This is for air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for June 29th, 2023. We're almost into Ju July. We're on the downward slope. But it is a new year in many, many belief systems, so treat it as a new year, new energy, new new beginnings. I noticed, have noticed over the years that the last six months of, of whatever year we're in is very different from the first six months. So expect things to be different for you, uh, and it will be to your benefit. So the first card is the Four of Swords. It came out kind of dark but I don't think it's a big deal I think because the four of swords is about depression and coming out of depression so things that have been dark for quite a while are going to come out of going to come out to this there's a new day beginning basically and which is what I was just saying it's a new new energy coming through right now and that has been very apparent in many of the the readings that I've been doing, many of the readings that other people have doing. I don't actually follow other readers because I prefer to come into this with my own fresh ideas or my own ideas, not necessarily fresh. But people tell me. And so it does appear that there is a new energy coming on and I do do think we need it so gravitate to the positive gravitate to the new and the next card is the Queen of of Pentacles which as an energy is confident and self-assured you want to go into this with confidence and self-assurance and I don't say fake it till you make it I don't actually agree with that sentiment. I do agree with being who you truly are, being authentic at, at, at every level you can be. And the more authentic you are, the more likely you will attract this sense of being confident for, for, for sure. Uh, and the, this confidence, of course, has to do with abundance. And why is it always abundance that I'm talking about? Because we live in a world, at this moment, we live in a world where dinero is very important. Having, having things is important. We're not always going to be there. We're going to move into a time when, with you have it, oh, great. If you don't, well, who cares? But at this moment, it's important for our survival. We can't eat without the narrow. We can't live in a house without the narrow. So until, until that changes, then, we, then it is important for us to attract abundance in that form. And the next one is the, it's a, the Ace of Pentacles, which is an earth tree, which re represents physical earth. And there there too it is abundance and we want all forms of abun of abundance and the earth offers us that in the physical the earth will offer us fresh energy fresh uh, fresh intuitions and things like that people complain about how the how the top surface of the earth is and it, and yeah i have to agree People have put plastic out where they need not be, and this and that. It's not not wrecking the earth. The earth that just has to shake her shoulders, throw up a, a, a volcano or two, and that stuff's gone. 
what we want to do is change things so that we survive the the humans that are part of earth walk on her on her sides so that she doesn't need us she could something if we go she there will be another species that comes up and can do what we do it's not a big deal not to her she's chosen to help us grow and be supportive of, of us so if we work with her and that doesn't mean we have to be do without that is a that's a misnomer but if we work with her energetically and we we do the best we can then it makes a huge difference and she will support us it will take us to a place where ten of cups we are in in a place of happy happy is happy is up and down it's not a, it's not always there but it is it is something that's mature form so it's not it's not bipolar it's i'm happy i'm not so happy i'm happy i'm not so happy because it is a sign rhythm you watch you watch anything that's related to science it will tell you it we are in a sign rhythm of ups and downs it's not like joy which is constant all right so allow yourself to be the fu the fully enacted light worker cut away the dross that we don't need lighten your heart allow your intuitions to be powerful because we that is us returning to who we truly are returning to our authenticity and it is we are authentically intuitive we are authentically telepathic so we want we got the uh, nine of cups which is cloud nine being on cloud nine but more importantly it's a fun card and that's something that i suggest over and over again have fun make a wish it's the wish card have fun with the wish enjoy the wish it's again having joy in your life is highly spiritual and uh, it's when we don't have joy in our life that life becomes miserable when we're miserable we attract misery when we're joyful we attract joy so attract joy namaste namaskar i love you and you i do love you. bye